this was the part about materials cloud. And since I know that people have a tendency to leave early, I wanted to get in some remarks about uh, the workshop as well. The first of all, how to stay in touch. If you are not yet subscribed to the AIDA mailing list, please go to AIDA.net and subscribe to it. This is the place to ask questions, or like, for, for you, things are not working, I don't know what is going on, or, or just general questions about AIDA. Um, these are the Material Scout and uh, AIDA developers. Uh, you've seen a number of them already. Uh, um, and uh, one thing I wanted to mention is that um, if you like what we do, uh, we are always looking for talented people to join the team. So if, if you're interested in, in working on these kind of things or in shaping the future of how we do computational material science, uh, look at the AIDA and the Psyche mailing lists and uh, if there's an opening, let us know. Um, and finally, a uh, very important a few very important words that apply generally to open source projects that have nothing to do with data in, in particular, is um, it's super important to contribute. And there's many, many ways of contributing. So the simplest step of contributing is uh, let us know which features matter to you. Um, so on GitHub, you can simply, on an issue, for example, this was mentioned by Alberto uh, before, uh, we should have a ready node go to repository command and then I want to be in this folder and I would just want to work with the files. If this feature is important to you, just give it a thumbs up. Step two, you are finding a bug. If you find a bug, please go to the AIDA core GitHub repository, click on your issue and report your bug together with the AIDA version, Python version, etc. This is really important. And the third step, if you think you can fix the bug, please open a pull request. We love pull requests. <laughs> <laughs> and one thing, the last, really my last slide now, um, is sometimes there are some barriers for people to, to doing these things. And I think these barriers are mostly psychological. So, for example, you might think, okay, <laughs> okay on giving feedback, I don't have a GitHub account. I mean, come on, it, it takes one minute, get one. Um, but on reporting issues, um, I don't want to disturb the developers. They are busy, right? Uh, of course we are busy, but you don't disturb us. Please report the bug, and of course we will prioritize, right? So <laughs> if you report the bug, it doesn't mean it will be solved immediately, but at least we know that the bug is there, and we want to know that the bug is there. And finally, on making pull requests, I'm not a Python expert, so I, I don't know, can I contribute to this? I mean, of course you can. So there's many, many ways of, of making simple fixes. For example, both in the code, there's a typo. For example, Fauzi Mohammed, <laughs> he just uh, committed, created a pull request that removed a comma from an adjacent file. Yeah, he, could, he, he can probably <laughs> also make other pull requests, yeah? But these pull requests are important, and there's the documentation. These documentation files, they're just restructured text. They're just standard text files. If there's something small missing from the documentation, please make a pull request. It's super simple and we really, really appreciate it. So the gist of this is that all open source projects, not just AIDA, they live and die with the community. And um, so really, you are, you, you are the guys who are making this work or not work. And uh, in Europe, and especially in Switzerland, we need to say, don't be shy. So in open source, uh, just, just, just go there and try things. And you will notice when we say, this is too much. Yeah? But this happens very, very rarely. So please, please uh, contribute. Um, and please let us know if you start developing plugins. Register them on the AIDA registry. Um, and I think now it's time for the coffee break.